Hello, welcome to ART. I am Ms. Fry, and I'm very excited about this year. For those of you that are new to my class, you're about to learn about projects, procedures, and grading. For those of you that are returning to my class, I'm glad to have you back. So just sit back and listen to my presentation, and I will be happy to answer any questions you may have at the end. First of all, I'm going to go over the supply list. You'll need some basic supplies to get you started. Most of the supplies will be provided for you, but the ones I'm about to show you is what you'll need to purchase. If you can't get these, I will work with you. Just let me know and I will get you what I can. So first of all, on the supply list, you'll see number two pencils. You're gonna need about six to get you started um, to have in your portfolio. Try to have just regular pencils, not mechanicals. You'll also every day need your sketchbook. You'll need to purchase a spiral sketchbook, either eight and a half by 11 or nine by 12. Two ebony pencils, one art eraser, one pencil bag, black Sharpies, both ultra fine and fine tip. And if you don't wanna go and purchase all of these individually, you can get an art kit from me for 1363. So once you get your supplies, label them with the Sharpies that you have. And that way, if you get them mixed up or if they're lost, I can return them to you. Next, we have classroom procedures. For those of you that have been in my class, you're pretty um, accustomed to them. They haven't changed. So my classroom procedures are as follows. First, you'll come in, and as you enter the room, you will get your portfolio off of the shelves and have a seat before the bell rings. Next, we'll have sketch time. So as soon as you come in the classroom, more than likely when you're getting your portfolio, you'll notice that the lights are off, and there will be an assignment on the overhead projector on the board. That is going to be your sketch assignment. During sketch time, which is 10 minutes, there's no talking. You'll just follow the directions on the board. Typically, you'll have 50 minutes total, so don't feel like you have to finish everything in the 10 minutes because you'll have the same assignment for five days for the entire week. So for five days, 10 minutes each day equals about 50 minutes. The next 35 minutes of class is instructional or studio time. The last five minutes is cleanup. So the entire room has to be clean before I will allow you to leave. If you'll notice at the end of your table are numbers, so I'll be releasing you by table number each day when the bell rings. Make sure that when I announce that it's cleanup time that you go ahead and clean up then because I won't be giving party slips if I remember to tell you to clean up. Sometimes I'll forget and I'll lose track of time and I'll let your teacher know why you're late but um, on a daily basis, I don't do that. So the next thing is grading. Everyone always wonders how I grade art because it's subjective. Often there are not simple right or wrong answers. So if you'll just follow my directions, work hard, you will do fine. And also people ask me if you can fail art. Yes, you can, but only if you don't try and you fail to turn in your work. So here's how I grade. 60% of your grades will be from daily grades. You'll have art projects. I usually give a design and a completion grade for each project. You'll have weekly sketches, daily work, progress grades. When projects seem to take a long time, sometimes they do. I will give you grades throughout um, the project based on your progress. You'll have artist statements that you have to write and rubrics. Rubrics are a breakdown of a project. So it gives you a more detailed um, explanation of why you've received the grade you have. And then 40% of your grade is from tests. You'll have a vocabulary test each six weeks at the end of the six weeks. And at three weeks, you'll have a vocabulary check. I do allow you to still use your vocabulary on the test, so keep up with them. So you'll make 100 on your vocabulary and a better grade on your test. So the numerical grades that you're given are often on this scale here. 
Um, a 100 is perfect, which rarely happens. 95 through 99 is excellent. 90 to 94 is good. 80 to 89 is fair. 70 through 79 needs work. And obviously, if it's a failing grade, more than likely it's because it's incomplete or you simply didn't turn it in. So what will we be doing this year? We are going to be traveling around the world and looking at the world of art. So we're going to start from home um, in North America. We're going to be learning about ancient and traditional and contemporary artists. And so each six weeks, we will be going to a different continent. Each culture has a unique meaning and style behind their arts and crafts. So get your suitcases packed and we'll be on our way.